Noam Chomsky's book, Media Control, The Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda, discusses how media outlets can be used to manipulate public opinion and serve the interests of those in power. Chomsky argues that mainstream media often function as propaganda machines, promoting the agendas of corporations and governments rather than providing objective information. He highlights the dangers of media consolidation and the impact it has on democracy. The book is a critique of the role of media in shaping public discourse and highlights the importance of critical media literacy. Media Control, The Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda, by Noam Chomsky is a collection of essays that examines the role of mass media in modern society. Chomsky argues that the media is often used as a tool of propaganda by governments and corporations to manipulate public opinion and maintain power. Chomsky begins by discussing the concept of manufacturing consent, which refers to the ways in which the media shapes public opinion by framing the debate and controlling the information that is presented to the public. He argues that this process is not a conspiracy, but rather a natural result of the way in which the media is structured and funded. Chomsky then goes on to discuss the ways in which the media is used to promote the interests of the powerful. He argues that the media often serves as a mouthpiece for government and corporate interests, rather than as a watchdog for the public. He also discusses the ways in which the media can be used to distract and divert attention away from important issues. Throughout the book, Chomsky provides numerous examples to support his arguments, ranging from the coverage of political events to the ways in which advertising shapes consumer behavior. He also offers suggestions for how individuals can become more critical consumers of media and how they can work to promote a more democratic media landscape. Overall, Media Control is a provocative and thought-provoking book that raises important questions about the role of the media in society. It challenges readers to think critically about the information they consume and to consider the ways in which the media shapes their worldview. Noam Chomsky's Media Control the Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda presents several key arguments about the role of media in society, particularly in democratic societies. Here are some of the main arguments along with examples. Manufacturing consent. Chomsky argues that the media, through various mechanisms, shapes public opinion and creates a consensus that aligns with the interests of those in power. This is done by selecting which topics to cover, how to frame them, and which voices to amplify. For example, the media might focus heavily on a particular political scandal while ignoring broader systemic issues. Narrowing of debate. Chomsky suggests that the range of debate presented in mainstream media is often limited, excluding perspectives that challenge the status quo. This can lead to a narrow understanding of complex issues. For instance, in political discussions, the media might focus on two major parties while marginalizing third-party candidates or alternative viewpoints. Corporate influence. Chomsky highlights how corporate interests influence media content through advertising revenue and ownership. This can lead to a prioritization of profit over public interest. For example, media outlets might avoid criticizing companies that are major advertisers. Manufactured consent in foreign policy. Chomsky argues that the media plays a crucial role in garnering public support for government policies, especially in matters of foreign policy. By framing conflicts or interventions in a certain way, the media can influence public opinion. For instance, media coverage of military actions may emphasize national security concerns while downplaying civilian casualties. Alternative media. Chomsky advocates for alternative media sources that offer a different perspective from mainstream outlets. These sources can provide a counterbalance to mainstream narratives and offer a more diverse range of viewpoints. For example, independent news websites or community radio stations can offer alternative perspectives on political issues. Overall, Chomsky's Media Control argues that a critical understanding of media is essential for a functioning democracy, as it can help to identify and challenge forms of manipulation and propaganda. Here are a few more key arguments from Noam Chomsky's Media Control, the spectacular achievements of propaganda, along with examples. Role of News Framing Chomsky discusses how the framing of news stories can influence public perception. By presenting information in a particular way, the media can shape how people understand and interpret events. For example, framing a protest as either a peaceful demonstration or a violent uprising can lead to very different public reactions. Selective reporting and bias. Chomsky argues that the media often selectively reports on issues, focusing on stories that align with certain narratives or agendas. This can create a biased view of reality.
For instance, media coverage of crime might disproportionately focus on crimes committed by certain groups, leading to stereotypes and misconceptions. Impact of ownership. Chomsky highlights how the ownership of media outlets can influence the content that is produced. When a few large corporations own the majority of media outlets, there is a risk of homogenized news coverage that reflects the interests of the owners. For example, a media conglomerate that owns both a news outlet and a movie studio might promote its own films through its news channels. Effects on democracy. Chomsky argues that the concentration of media ownership and the manipulation of information can have negative effects on democracy. When the media fails to provide a diverse range of viewpoints and critical analysis, citizens are less informed and less able to make informed decisions. This can undermine the democratic process. For example, biased or misleading media coverage of elections can sway public opinion and influence election outcomes. Need for media literacy. Chomsky emphasizes the importance of media literacy, or the ability to critically analyze and evaluate media messages. By developing media literacy skills, individuals can better understand how media influences their beliefs and behaviors. This can help to counteract the effects of media manipulation and propaganda. Here are a few additional arguments and concepts from Noam Chomsky's Media Control, The Spectacular Achievement of Propaganda. Manufactured Illusion of Freedom Chomsky suggests that in societies with ostensibly free media, there is often a manufactured illusion of freedom. While individuals are technically free to express their opinions, the range of acceptable discourse is limited by the constraints of mainstream media. This can create the perception of a free and open media environment, while actually limiting the diversity of perspectives. Role of Public Relations Chomsky discusses the role of public relations PR, in shaping media narratives and public opinion. PR professionals work to manipulate the media in favor of their clients, often through tactics such as spin and selective disclosure of information. For example, a company might use PR to downplay the negative impacts of its products or actions. Normalization of ideals. Chomsky argues that the media plays a role in normalizing certain ideals and values within society. By repeatedly presenting certain ideas or behaviors as normal or desirable, the media can influence social norms. For instance, media depictions of beauty and success can influence how individuals perceive themselves and others. Commercialization of news. Chomsky discusses how the commercialization of news has led to a focus on entertainment and sensationalism, rather than informative journalism. This can result in a lack of substantive reporting on important issues. For example, news outlets might prioritize stories that attract viewership, such as celebrity gossip, over stories that are more socially or politically significant. Global Media Consolidation Chomsky highlights the trend of global media consolidation, where a few large corporations own and control a significant portion of the world's media outlets. This consolidation can lead to uniformity of media content and reduce the diversity of voices and perspectives. For example, a news story produced by a major media conglomerate in one country might be syndicated and distributed globally, shaping international perceptions of events. These arguments and concepts from Chomsky's work underscore the complex relationship between media, power, and society, highlighting the importance of critical engagement with Media Messages PT 3.5 User Noam Chomsky Media Control Chat GPT Noam Chomsky's book, Media Control, The Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda, discusses how media outlets can be used to manipulate public opinion and serve the interests of those in power. Chomsky argues that mainstream media often function as propaganda machines, promoting the agendas of corporations and governments rather than providing objective information. He highlights the dangers of media consolidation and the impact it has on democracy. The book is a critique of the role of media in shaping public discourse and highlights the importance of critical media literacy. User. Beginning to end synopsis. Chat GPT. Media Control. The Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda by Noam Chomsky is a collection of essays that examines the role of mass media in modern society. Chomsky argues that the media is often used as a tool of propaganda by governments and corporations to manipulate public opinion and maintain power. Chomsky begins by discussing the concept of manufacturing consent, which refers to the ways in which the media shapes public opinion by framing the debate and controlling the information that is presented to the public. He argues that this process is not a conspiracy, but rather a natural result of the way in which the media is structured and funded. 
Chomsky then goes on to discuss the ways in which the media is used to promote the interests of the powerful. He argues that the media often serves as a mouthpiece for government and corporate interests, rather than as a watchdog for the public. He also discusses the ways in which the media can be used to distract and divert attention away from important issues. Throughout the book, Chomsky provides numerous examples to support his arguments, ranging from the coverage of political events to the ways in which advertising shapes consumer behavior. He also offers suggestions for how individuals can become more critical consumers of media and how they can work to promote a more democratic media landscape. Overall, Media Control is a provocative and thought-provoking book that raises important questions about the role of the media in society. It challenges readers to think critically about the information they consume and to consider the ways in which the media shapes their worldview. User. Main arguments with example. Chat GPT. Noam Chomsky's Media Control, The Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda, presents several key arguments about the role of media in society, particularly in democratic societies. Here are some of the main arguments along with examples. Manufacturing Consent Chomsky argues that the media, through various mechanisms, shapes public opinion and creates a consensus that aligns with the interests of those in power. This is done by selecting which topics to cover, how to frame them, and which voices to amplify. For example, the media might focus heavily on a particular political scandal while ignoring broader systemic issues. Narrowing of debate Chomsky suggests that the range of debate presented in mainstream media is often limited, excluding perspectives that challenge the status quo. This can lead to a narrow understanding of complex issues. For instance, in political discussions, the media might focus on two major parties while marginalizing third-party candidates or alternative viewpoints. Corporate influence Chomsky highlights how corporate interests influence media content through advertising revenue and ownership. This can lead to a prioritization of profit over public interest. For example, media outlets might avoid criticizing companies that are major advertisers. Manufactured consent in foreign policy. Chomsky argues that the media plays a crucial role in garnering public support for government policies, especially in matters of foreign policy. By framing conflicts or interventions in a certain way, the media can influence public opinion. For instance, media coverage of military actions may emphasize national security concerns while downplaying civilian casualties. Alternative media. Chomsky advocates for alternative media sources that offer a different perspective from mainstream outlets. These sources can provide a counterbalance to mainstream narratives and offer a more diverse range of viewpoints. For example, independent news websites or community radio stations can offer alternative perspectives on political issues. Overall, Chomsky's Media Control argues that a critical understanding of media is essential for a functioning democracy, as it can help to identify and challenge forms of manipulation and propaganda. User. More. Chat GPT. Certainly. Here are a few more key arguments from Noam Chomsky's Media Control, the spectacular achievements of propaganda, along with examples. Role of news framing. Chomsky discusses how the framing of news stories can influence public perception. By presenting information in a particular way, the media can shape how people understand and interpret events. For example, framing a protest as either a peaceful demonstration or a violent uprising can lead to very different public reactions. Selective reporting and bias. Chomsky argues that the media often selectively reports on issues, focusing on stories that align with certain narratives or agendas. This can create a biased view of reality. For instance, media coverage of crime might disproportionately focus on crimes committed by certain groups, leading to stereotypes and misconceptions. Impact of ownership. Chomsky highlights how the ownership of media outlets can influence the content that is produced. When a few large corporations own the majority of media outlets, there is a risk of homogenized news coverage that reflects the interests of the owners. For example, a media conglomerate that owns both a news outlet and a movie studio might promote its own films through its news channels. Effects on democracy. Chomsky argues that the concentration of media ownership and the manipulation of information can have negative effects on democracy. When the media fails to provide a diverse range of viewpoints and critical analysis, citizens are less informed and less able to make informed decisions. This can undermine the democratic process. For example, biased or misleading media coverage of elections can sway public opinion and influence election outcomes. Need for media literacy. 
Chomsky emphasizes the importance of media literacy, or the ability to critically analyze and evaluate media messages. By developing media literacy skills, individuals can better understand how media influences their beliefs and behaviors. This can help to counteract the effects of media manipulation and propaganda. User. More. Chat GPT. Certainly. Here are a few additional arguments and concepts from Noam Chomsky's Media Control, Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda. Manufactured Illusion of Freedom. Chomsky suggests that in societies with ostensibly free media, there is often a manufactured illusion of freedom. While individuals are technically free to express their opinions, the range of acceptable discourse is limited by the constraints of mainstream media. This can create the perception of a free and open media environment, while actually limiting the diversity of perspectives. Role of Public Relations Chomsky discusses the role of public relations PR, in shaping media narratives and public opinion. PR professionals work to manipulate the media in favor of their clients, often through tactics such as spin and selective disclosure of information. For example, a company might use PR to downplay the negative impacts of its products or actions. Normalization of ideals. Chomsky argues that the media plays a role in normalizing certain ideals and values within society. By repeatedly presenting certain ideas or behaviors as normal or desirable, the media can influence social norms. For instance, media depictions of beauty and success can influence how individuals perceive themselves and others. Commercialization of news. Chomsky discusses how the commercialization of news has led to a focus on entertainment and sensationalism, rather than informative journalism. This can result in a lack of substantive reporting on important issues. For example, news outlets might prioritize stories that attract viewership, such as celebrity gossip, over stories that are more socially or politically significant. Global Media Consolidation Chomsky highlights the trend of global media consolidation, where a few large corporations own and control a significant portion of the world's media outlets. This consolidation can lead to uniformity of media content and reduce the diversity of voices and perspectives. For example, a news story produced by a major media conglomerate in one country might be syndicated and distributed globally, shaping international perceptions of events. These arguments and concepts from Chomsky's work underscore the complex relationship between media, power, and society, highlighting the importance of critical engagement with media messages. User. Themes critical appreciation with example. Chat GPT. In, Media Control, The Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda, Noam Chomsky presents several themes that invite critical appreciation. Here are some of these themes along with examples. Corporate influence on media. Chomsky critiques the role of corporate interests in shaping media content. He argues that media outlets, driven by profit motives, often prioritize sensationalism and entertainment over substantive journalism. For example, news channels might prioritize stories that attract viewership and advertisers, leading to a focus on celebrity gossip or sensationalized headlines, rather than in-depth reporting on important issues. Manufacturing consent. Chomsky's concept of manufacturing consent suggests that the media, consciously or unconsciously, serves the interests of the powerful by shaping public opinion. This can involve framing issues in a way that aligns with the dominant narrative or excluding alternative viewpoints. For instance, media coverage of political events might focus on the actions of political elites while marginalizing grassroots movements or dissenting voices. Limitations of mainstream media. Chomsky highlights the limitations of mainstream media in providing a diverse range of perspectives. He argues that the concentration of media ownership in the hands of a few corporations can lead to a homogenization of news content and a lack of critical analysis. For example, a media conglomerate that owns multiple news outlets might present a unified narrative that reflects the interests of its owners, rather than providing a diversity of viewpoints. Need for media literacy. Chomsky emphasizes the importance of media literacy in navigating the complex media landscape. He argues that individuals need to develop critical thinking skills to discern bias, propaganda, and misinformation in media messages. For example, individuals can fact-check news stories, compare multiple sources, and be aware of the agendas of media outlets. Alternative media and grassroots movements. Chomsky discusses the role of alternative media and grassroots movements in challenging mainstream narratives and promoting social change. He suggests that these alternative sources can provide a platform for marginalized voices and offer perspectives that are often overlooked by mainstream media.
For example, independent news websites, community radio stations, and social media platforms can amplify the voices of activists, scholars, and ordinary citizens who are not represented in mainstream media. Overall, these themes in Chomsky's work encourage a critical appreciation of the role of media in society and the ways in which it can shape our understanding of the world. They underscore the importance of questioning media messages, seeking out diverse sources of information, and advocating for a more democratic and inclusive media landscape. A critical analysis of Noam Chomsky's media control, the spectacular achievements of propaganda, reveals several strengths and weaknesses in his arguments. Strengths Insightful analysis Chomsky provides a deep and insightful analysis of the media landscape, highlighting the ways in which media can be used as a tool of propaganda and manipulation. His critiques of mainstream media offer a valuable perspective on the limitations of corporate-owned media. Relevance Chomsky's arguments remain relevant in today's media environment, where issues of media bias, corporate influence, and misinformation continue to be major concerns. His work encourages readers to critically examine media messages and seek out alternative sources of information. Advocacy for media literacy Chomsky's emphasis on the importance of media literacy is a key strength of his work. By encouraging readers to develop critical thinking skills, he empowers them to navigate the complexities of the media landscape and resist manipulation. Weaknesses Simplification some critics argue that Chomsky's analysis oversimplifies the relationship between media, power, and society. While he highlights important issues, his explanations may not fully capture the complexities of media influence. Lack of nuance Chomsky's arguments can sometimes lack nuance, particularly in his portrayal of mainstream media as monolithic and uniformly controlled by corporate interests. This overlooks the diversity of media outlets and the range of perspectives they present. Limited solutions. While Chomsky identifies problems with the media, some critics argue that he offers limited solutions. His advocacy for alternative media and media literacy is important, but some critics suggest that more concrete proposals for media reform are needed. In conclusion, while Noam Chomsky's Media Control offers valuable insights into the ways in which media can be used as a tool of propaganda, it is not without its limitations. A critical analysis of his work reveals both strengths and weaknesses in his arguments, highlighting the complexity of the media landscape and the challenges of advocating for media reform. Noam Chomsky's work on media control and propaganda, as articulated in Media Control, The Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda, holds significant relevance and has left a lasting legacy in several ways. Significance Chomsky's analysis of media manipulation and propaganda is significant because it challenges mainstream narratives and encourages critical thinking about the role of media in society. His work highlights the power dynamics at play in media ownership and control, shedding light on how information is disseminated and consumed. Relevance Chomsky's arguments remain highly relevant in today's media landscape, characterized by concerns about fake news, misinformation, and the influence of corporate interests. His emphasis on the need for media literacy and the importance of independent media sources continues to resonate with audiences seeking to navigate the complexities of modern media. Legacy Chomsky's work has left a lasting legacy in the fields of media studies, communication, and political science. His concepts, such as, manufacturing consent, have become foundational in understanding how media influence public opinion and shape political discourse. Contribution Chomsky's contribution to the discourse on media and propaganda lies in his ability to challenge dominant narratives and stimulate critical thinking. By highlighting the ways in which media can be used to manipulate public opinion, he has inspired scholars and activists to advocate for media reform and greater transparency in media practices. Impact Chomsky's work has had a significant impact on media criticism and activism. His insights have influenced journalists, scholars, and activists around the world, inspiring them to question mainstream media narratives and seek out alternative sources of information. Settings Chomsky's analysis of media control and propaganda is relevant in a wide range of settings, from democratic societies where media freedom is valued but often compromised, to authoritarian regimes where media manipulation is used as a tool of repression. His work transcends national boundaries, speaking to the universal challenges of media manipulation and control. 
In summary, Noam Chomsky's work on media control and propaganda continues to be highly significant and relevant, leaving a lasting legacy in the fields of media studies and political discourse. His contributions have had a profound impact on how we understand the role of media in society and the importance of critical media literacy. Noam Chomsky's Media Control, The Spectacular Achievements of Propaganda, is a nonfiction book that does not follow a traditional plot, dialogue, or narrative structure found in fiction. Instead, the book is structured as a series of essays and lectures that present Chomsky's arguments and analysis of the media landscape. The book's structure is characterized by the following elements. Thematic organization. The book is organized thematically, with each chapter focusing on a different aspect of media control and propaganda. Chomsky explores topics such as the role of media in shaping public opinion, the influence of corporate interests on media content, and the impact of media consolidation on democracy. Argumentative structure. Each chapter presents a series of arguments supported by evidence and examples. Chomsky uses case studies and historical examples to illustrate his points, demonstrating how media manipulation has been used in various contexts. Lecture style. The book retains the style of Chomsky's lectures, with a conversational tone that engages the reader. While the book is scholarly in nature, it is accessible to a general audience and does not rely heavily on technical language or academic jargon. Critical analysis. Throughout the book, Chomsky encourages readers to think critically about the media messages they consume. He challenges readers to question mainstream narratives and consider alternative viewpoints, highlighting the importance of media literacy. Overall, Media Control is structured as a series of thought-provoking essays that challenge readers to reconsider their assumptions about the media and its role in society. The book's narrative technique is based on presenting compelling arguments and evidence rather than following a traditional narrative arc. Noam Chomsky, born on December 7, 1928, is an American linguist, philosopher, cognitive scientist, historian, and social critic. He is one of the most influential intellectuals of our time, known for his groundbreaking work in linguistics, philosophy, and political activism. Chomsky's linguistic theories, particularly his theory of generative grammar, revolutionized the field of linguistics in the 1950s and 1960s. He argued that humans are born with an innate capacity for language and that all languages share a universal grammar. This challenged traditional behaviorist theories of language acquisition and laid the foundation for the modern field of cognitive science. In addition to his work in linguistics, Chomsky is also known for his political activism and social criticism. He has been a vocal critic of U.S. foreign policy, corporate influence in politics, and media manipulation. His book, Manufacturing Consent, co-authored with Edward S. Herman, is a seminal work on media criticism and propaganda. Chomsky's writing is characterized by its clarity, rigor, and depth of analysis. He has a unique ability to explain complex ideas in a way that is accessible to a wide audience. His work is also characterized by its interdisciplinary approach, drawing on insights from linguistics, philosophy, psychology, and political science. Overall, Noam Chomsky's work has had a profound impact on multiple fields of study and has inspired generations of scholars, activists, and intellectuals. His contributions to linguistics, philosophy, and political activism have earned him a reputation as one of the most important thinkers of the 20th and 21st centuries. It is imperative to understand and critically engage with Noam Chomsky's work on media control and propaganda for several reasons. Media Literacy Chomsky's work emphasizes the importance of media literacy in an age where information is constantly being disseminated through various channels. By understanding how media can be used to manipulate public opinion, individuals can become more discerning consumers of media and less susceptible to propaganda. Democracy and Civic Engagement A critical understanding of media control is essential for a functioning democracy. By being aware of the ways in which media can influence public opinion, individuals can make more informed decisions as citizens and actively participate in democratic processes. Corporate Influence Chomsky's analysis highlights the ways in which corporate interests can shape media content. This is particularly relevant in today's media landscape, where a handful of corporations control a large portion of the media market. Understanding this influence is crucial for maintaining a diverse and independent media ecosystem. Alternative Perspectives Chomsky's work encourages individuals to seek out alternative perspectives and voices that may be marginalized in mainstream media. 
This can lead to a more nuanced understanding of complex issues and promote greater empathy and understanding across different communities. Critical thinking. Engaging with Chomsky's work fosters critical thinking skills, which are essential for navigating the vast amount of information available in today's digital age. By questioning media narratives and seeking out multiple sources of information, individuals can develop a more comprehensive understanding of the world around them. Overall, Noam Chomsky's work on media control and propaganda is imperative because it challenges us to think critically about the information we consume, the sources we trust, and the narratives that shape our understanding of the world. It empowers individuals to become active participants in shaping media discourse and promoting a more informed and democratic society. The main message of Noam Chomsky's media control, the spectacular achievements of propaganda, is that mainstream media often serve the interests of those in power, such as governments and corporations, by shaping public opinion and controlling the flow of information. Chomsky argues that this manipulation of the media, whether intentional or not, can have far-reaching consequences for democracy and society as a whole. For example, Chomsky points to the way in which media outlets can frame political debates to limit the range of acceptable opinions. By focusing on a narrow spectrum of viewpoints, the media can marginalize dissenting voices and reinforce the status quo. This can lead to a lack of meaningful debate on important issues, stifling democracy and preventing the public from making informed decisions. Chomsky also highlights the role of media consolidation in limiting diversity of opinion. When a few large corporations own the majority of media outlets, there is a risk that news coverage will be biased in favor of corporate interests. This can lead to a homogenization of media content, with important stories being overlooked or misrepresented. Overall, Chomsky's main message is that the media can be a powerful tool for shaping public opinion, and it is important for individuals to be critical consumers of media content. By understanding the ways in which the media can be manipulated, individuals can better assess the information they receive and make more informed decisions as citizens. One important question raised by Noam Chomsky's media control, the spectacular achievements of propaganda, is how can individuals and society ensure that the media serve the public interest rather than the 